First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, praises, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also, the true beside the King of Kings, royal to Himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach. Also, the fine Father, true Father, one of us. This is Father Kings, coming back at you yet with another lesson. Before I go farther in this lesson, let's intend to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which consists of the so called African American blacks, so called Latino, and Native American Indian descent, and also the Israelite fruit in the face. They look like the other nations. And our Israelite brothers and sisters are scattered abroad, sea and land, across this world and planet. To you, I say shalom. I'm going to try to make this lesson <clears throat> um, very short and quick. Um, I'm looking at this video YouTuber broadcaster. Her name, um, I forgot her. I don't know her name is, but I know she's a YouTube blogger. And um, she's attacking... The Hebrew Israelites <clears throat> and don't even realize <clears throat> that she's going to bring swift destruction to herself by doing so. And that's why I say that you women need a husband. You women definitely need a husband. And before I go farther in this lesson, <clears throat> let me title this lesson that you women better repent before it's too late. Sooner or later, the doors of mercy which is the man that's teaching this truth that's on the highways and byways. The brothers are doing the sit downs. Soon the doors of mercy is going to close upon you women over here in Babylon. And when that happens, you are going to be destroyed. You know, not all women, because there's going to be some women that that's, that's among the elect. But there's very few over here in Babylon. They're great. You know, uh, because... Most of these women here drunk the cup of the uh, westernized Babylon philosophy, which is America philosophy. Let's get a couple of precepts real quick. Of course, I'm going to start in the book of Genesis, one of my favorite verses as concerning a woman. And it, you can clearly see that this woman is completely out of order. You know, let me get this scripture real quick. And I'm going to break down several things that she's doing that she's breaking the commandments right now. And she don't even realize it. Unto the woman, he said, here's Genesis chapter 3, verse 16. Unto the, unto the woman, he, Salakia, unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow in thy conception. And sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. And thy desire shall be that towards thy husband. And he shall rule over thee. So the first, first off. The Most High is not even dealing with a woman directly. You have to have a head, a cover, which is your husband. We just read out the Genesis chapter 3, verse 16, you know, <clears throat> because the, the Most High is not even dealing with the man directly. We have to have a cover. Our cover is Christ, Shah We 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 can't get to the Most High without going to his holy precious son. That's the only way that we can amend from, from, from our sins. We have to go through the Savior. So you women got some nerves to think, remember, beginning of sin came through you guys. It came through the woman. So you women got some nerves that you could jump from the man, from your house, jump from your house shot and get straight to the most high. You insane. And first and foremost, I want to also say this, that the most high is a consuming fire. You women have no clue. Uh, you, got, you women have no clue what type of power that you are referring to. Some of the, <clears throat> the ancient historians call the um the most high um um Ashaswa, which is a demon like power, because his judgment is terrible. You know, remember he remember the most high is internal. He has no beginning nor ending um of days. That's, his title is the ancient of days. So you women have no clue. That's why he said your desires be that towards your husband. You have no husband, the most high is not dealing with you. It's point blank, period. And if you don't, and if you don't have a husband and you trying to be in this truth, pray that the most high send you a husband or stay absent it until the most high send you a husband. Or pray that the most high send you a husband. And, and just learn from the men of the Lord on YouTube until the most high bless you with a cover. You know? Let's see the Genesis 3:16. Was that revisited in the New Testament? Let's let's see that. We're going to get right here in the scripture. I'm going to show you that Genesis 3, Genesis 3 verse 16 
is precept right in the New Testament. Because precept must be on precept, here a little, there a little. To let you know that the Most High don't change. Because somebody might get simple, like, oh, that was the Old Testament. Let's get in the New Testament. So this is.